Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial we will learn how to color correct a photo in Photoshop. Before we get started, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications. Photoshop gives us the right tools to fix the colors in our photos and make them pop. And in this tutorial, that is exactly what we will be learning. So choose your photo and let's get started. Before we get started with this tutorial, it's very important to balance the color white. To do this in Photoshop, we are going to use a new adjustment layer. Let's go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Levels. Now go to the Option menu and select Auto Options. In the pop-up window that opens, select Find Dark and Light Colors and then select the Snap Neutral Midtones and press OK to close the window. Usually the parts that are up close in a photo are lighter while the parts that are further back are darker but we still want our focal point to be brighter than the other parts. So to manage all of these aspects we're going to create a new adjustment layer black and white. Now go back and select the layer levels. Then go to layer, new adjustment layer, curves. We are going to use this level to create the dark parts of the photo. I'm using a Photoshop preset to make the curve layer darker. If you like, you can make it darker manually. Then I'm going to invert the layer mask, select the brush tool, and use the color white to go over the parts of the photo I want to make darker. I've selected a soft brush to go over the parts of the photo that are supposed to be farther away and so darker. Now create a new curve adjustment layer, only this time instead of setting the preset to darker, I'm going to set it to lighter and use it for my highlights. So I'm going to invert the layer mask again, select the brush tool and use a soft brush, make sure it's set on white. And this time, go over the parts of the photo you want to make lighter. When you're done, go back to the black and white adjustment layer, which is at the very top of the layer panel, and press Ctrl Alt Shift and E to create a new merged layer. At this point, we are going to make a selective correction by going to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and selecting Selective Color. This will allow us to regulate the individual colors. So, invert the layer mask. Now we are going to recolor the image, so use the selection tool you prefer to select the different parts of the image. I'm going to start by selecting the dress, which I'm going to color red. When you're done with your selection, 
press select and mask and here you can regulate if you want your selection smoother if you want to fade it if you want to increase the contrast or if you want to shift the edge also the parts of the image that aren't selected are covered by the color red you can change the view mode by pressing on the view drop down menu and selecting the mode you prefer or you can lower the opacity of the color red so you can see through it and this way it will be easier to decide the parts you need to select and the parts you need to subtract from your selection. To add or subtract from your selection, you can use the left side tools. Also, you can use one of these tools to refine the edges of your selection. When you are satisfied with your selection, press OK. Now make sure that your layer mask is selected and use the paint bucket tool to color your selection white. Now press on the selective color thumbnail and you will be able to see all the properties of this adjustment layer. Make sure you press absolute and then go to the Colors drop-down menu and select Neutrals. Now you will be able to color your selection whatever color you like. As I said, I'm going to color my dress red. Use the Selective Color Adjustment layer to color all the other parts of the photo. So I'm going to create a new selective color layer and this time I'm going to select the skin of my photo. When I'm done with the selection, I'm going to regulate the colors to make the skin the tone I want. After you've regulated the neutrals in the selective color layer, you can go to the colors drop down menu and regulate the blacks and the whites. Create a new selective color adjustment layer for each color in your photo. I'm going to create a new selective color layer to color the shoes. Since the shoes in this photo are very detailed, it's going to take a while to select them. When I'm done with the selection, I'm going to use Select and Mask to refine the selection. Hey. Now I'm going to regulate the color to color the shoes just like I did to color the dress and the skin tone. 
If you like, you can change the color of the background as well, or you can change the background altogether. For now, I'm just going to leave the background as it is in black and white. As the last step, I'm going to add a new adjustment layer gradient map. Now I'm going to press on the gradient map to open the gradient editor. And then I'm going to press on this little option icon. And when the drop down menu opens, I'm going to select photographic toning. Instead of replacing all of the gradient maps I have, I'm just going to add these other gradient maps to my panel. So as you can see, now we have all these new gradient maps to choose from. By playing with the different tones and colors, we can influence the way that our photo will be received by whoever looks at it. So choose the gradient map that you prefer and apply it to your photo. I'm going to test the different gradient maps available so I can decide the one that I like the best. You can also change the blending mode and regulate the opacity if you like. We have arrived to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it useful and easy to follow. Stay tuned for more videos. In the next tutorial, we will learn how to correctly convert the color profile of a photo.